Hi again. I'm down at the barnyard where I spend a whole lot of my time. And the rain is just starting to let up, so all the animals are starting to come back out from the barn and the coop. Venture around a little bit. Doesn't look like it's going to stop for long. But I'm down here waiting for our vet, Dr. Peter, to come and do some castrations on a few of the little male goats that I have. Um, he was here last week and we did a few of them then. Unfortunately, we just ran out of time to do all five, so he's coming back today. Um, there's lots of methods of castration for these little guys. Uh, and every one of them is fine. Um, everybody has their own way of doing it. I personally prefer the vet to do it because they use sedation and freezing and pain medication. And for me, that's the most humane way of dealing with this from my herd. Um, male goats that are intact are pretty sweet. I have a herd of five intact male breeding bucks and they're great guys, but they have a lot of testosterone in them and they stink <laughs> and they pee on themselves. So they really don't make good pets. So before our little guys go to their new homes, we always make sure that weathering is done, which is what you call castrating. And here comes one little guy now. This little guy will be getting done today. Hey, buddy. Hi, bud. And one other little guy who's still hiding out in there. Um, one of the other procedures that we do is dehorning. Um, our goats are dairy goats and they are unable to be shown if they have horns, as well as we find that it is much safer to not have them. We have little grandchildren hanging around with the animals, kids, and goats with horns can get their heads stuck in all kinds of places. Um, accidents can happen, even though these guys are really sweet. Uh, one wrong move with a horn on the head uh, you can lose an eye or worse. Um, that procedure we also have done with the vet. We have them sedated and pain meds after. And yeah, I just find that's the most humane way of, of doing it for us. So we are out here in the rain waiting for Dr. Peter to arrive. He should be here any minute. We have a covered area to work in, which is really nice in this kind of weather. And even when it's really hot. So that helps a lot. Um, the little guys will be, take probably about an hour. And fortunately for me, um, the doctor will let me assist and watch and answer all of my million questions about what he's doing. And I won't post any pictures of that because it is quite gory and graphic. Um, I don't have a weak stomach, so it doesn't bother me. And I'm super interested in finding out all aspects of raising these little guys, the, the good and the bad and all the necessary evils. Um, I find it fascinating, so not everybody does. Anyway, I will uh, update you with the little guys after they've had the procedure. They'll be awake and back with mom and pretty much feeling pretty good afterwards. Um, they'll have some pain meds on board and they'll get back nursing with mom and that always makes everything better for them. So yeah, we'll talk to you soon.